Am I doing it again? Yeah. Secret Wars. FCX, New York Stock Exchange. And that ticker is for Freeport Mick Moran Inc. And with a fellow viewer, we're trying to fill around, see how we could get a scanner, you know. Always uh, trying to get scanners to try and program Stan Weinstein's system to be able to uh, get those A plus potential setups, long bases, long stage ones, or long stage threes, and then the breakdown. And then after that, I had, I remembered something about ADX. Um, and that indicator, which is able to, when under 20, gives you a, uh, when the trend is uh, not trending, or just moving sideways, and that's what you want, right, in a stage one or three, and when the ADX pops above 20, it means it's starting to trend, and after that, you could actually start going down, so that's kind of cool. Um, I guess we could intu intuitively see it just in the chart. We don't need the ADX to tell us. But uh, for scanning purposes, uh, it could be interested. interesting. You could say if my ADX is under 20 for uh, one year, then show me that, sto that stock. So right now I'm just having fun. I, you see the ADX here. I added it and let's just see how it behaves. So let's just say here we had under, uh, under 20. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And let's see the price action. So under 20, here's the date. And when above, uh, when above 20, it was this candle right here. Right below the Ichimoku cloud breakdown. There you go, tag. And let's just see if I had, where's my volume? Fear is the volume on breakdowns, but uh, you can see the increasing volume. I've noticed that uh, you still get that volume on, uh, increased volume even on the uh, breakdowns. 30 week moving average under the support under resistance line, support line, sorry, dyslexia, keep inversing those, and do do, and all these candles have increasing volume, and you see how on the pullback you had less shrinking volume, that's the way you want it, so if you would went in here on that breakdown, and when you see that during the week, oh, it's going back up, and then the volume is low, you know that you're in, uh, a, a plus setup and now I like to call them a plus plus because I'm under the Ichimoku cloud I have that extra confidence that I won't have any nearby resistance on my way to uh, being on stage so there you go and here's the ADX where it started going over 20 ideally probably the scanner you would want it to be um, under 20 and or approaching the 20 line maybe so when if you see it starting to go move upwards and then you see it's trending towards the 20 line then you could say oh wait here it is okay, just trying to move the arrow oh there we So it's actually it's starting to break down before we, we cross over. But uh, that, I think that could be good. This one uh, was ranging for about uh, eight months. January, February, March, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months under a 20 line. Maybe a year successive. This is a, looks like a solid pattern. And off we went to the races on a stage four uh, Stan Weinstein.
Looks good there. And look at it. Okay, ADX keeps going up. Price, price action keeps going down aggressively. Do, do, do. do I have a trend line? Let's see. No valid trend line yet. Well, a Stan Weinstein valid trend line. A simple trend line is just connect two dots. But Stan wants three dots and three connects. And on the fourth one, that's when he pulls the trigger. So right now, there's not much. One, two, three. Okay, maybe this one here. All right, so let's keep moving on. What happened? Look at the ADX. And when the ADX starts going under 50, a possible sign that the... Uh, trend is starting to slow down i got this uh, this 20 and this 50 rule um on baby pips so if you type in google baby pips uh, adx there's a nice little uh, tutorial on uh, how they uh, on them how they manage that and off we go to the races extend that the trend line and we would have had one, two, three, maybe four, and would have exited right here. Half of your position. And here's the last pullback where we would have put our sell stop for traders and investors right here. But remember, if there's a trend line violation, then traders, investors start behaving like traders for their exits. And they would have removed half of their position right here. And the remainder half right here on this violation of that sell stop below the pullback. Oh, well, pretty nice profit right there. And what started happening when the price action see it's starting going back towards the 30-week uh, moving average? It started going back down. So is this exactly the same point when we started going under 50? Start going back under 50 right here, this candle. And right here, this candle here. This one here. That's the candle where it started going back under 50. Look. Is this a... Um, you maximize the wave. So these could be just additional uh, confirmations, but usually the trend line violation. And I think oh, I'll keep practicing with the ADX just to see is a trial on violation could be sufficient to uh it coincides and that's what i've noticed like all these di people different frameworks technical analysis and i i swear by the adx and the other person swears by rsi but remember and uh, and even i swear by trend lines well they all are derived from impossible buy because the the price action how it moves how the candles morphs so Never say somebody, ah, yeah, mine's better than yours. Look, many ways to skin a cat, and and it's all good from here. Start slowing down, and then trends start getting picking back up. Right here, there's probably an occasion for continuation breakdown. Remember, there's no more support here below. So you could have probably played uh, right here, maybe here. That's a classical stand continuation breakout. Price action was moving sideways. The trend was slowing down. You're out because of the trend line violation. And then one, two, three. Th Remember, these are weekly candles, one month, two months. Three months pass by. Now if you notice that you have this nice uh, support. Bam, continuation breakdown. Here we go. Do 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 on super duper high volume. Look at those candles. You see the pattern? Look, and you should see from all these analysis I'm doing, you should be telling me, look, Pat, that's an A plus. I see it right away. And it's really like this way. No compromise on this. Anything under that. That type of setup, sideways move, close to 30-week moving average, and then springboard down. And especially the RSI, I've noticed that 
<sighs> it's really important when your yard size is like going from a little bit below the halfway point in towards. I trust that more than uh, the RSI already deep into the direction. This is a triple confirmation, quadruple, A++, because we're under the uh, Ichimoku cloud. And I don't think at this stage we should look too much at the, uh, for continuation breakouts at the ADX, because continuation breakouts, you're already still in the momentum. I think the ADX, I'm going to use it as a, more as a scanner to get these patterns because it's hard to mathematically how you're going to do if the range is this up the candle close but never went down the adx does it all for you I'm not quite sure how they calculate it but it tells you that th the stock is moving within a, a certain range and i guess that's all i need for for stand stand screener and here we go nice stage three you see the art the adx starting to slow down and i think until it gets under 20 you don't want to go back in there and there we go we're under 20. so all this nice base nice stage three uh stage one it could be stage three but uh, right now i think it's a stage one that fell breakout right here did he have okay let's just let's just just let's look would have been would we have entered do, 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 do. yeah look at that candle triple confirmation remember never risk one more than one percent on your of your nav on a position so right now we could have been tempted to enter right here DDX was it a long time under 20 it just touched and go under and there you go and you could have went in but a uh, price action went up one two maybe not here and oh look you could have actually still been in the stock could still be moving sideways right now because your sell stop as an investor would be down here as a trader would be in four to six percent under the sell, the breakdown line but i'm more uh, angling towards having at least below uh the 30 week move 30 week moving average below round number so in this case could have been 11 uh, 1095 and as long as and none of these candles went below that and they didn't the traders and investors would have been in except uh not false because of the 30 week moving average traders would have been, been out it's just not not a, not healthy to go back in there and investors also investors could tolerate sometimes like this being above 30 week moving average but only if the angle is still a s steep slope and right now it's pretty flat so you could have probably both exited right here at this stage not much of a loss, uh, half a percent. If your sell stop was here, uh, and then you would have just uh, waited for a better signal to get in. And where are we today? Let's go. Let's go fast forward. Do 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 do. Okay, that's where. Okay, that's where I'm in today. Right now, there was another range under twenty, right here. Look at that high volume candle more than uh, twice the day the average for the previous four to five weeks rsi going from uh, half over half the halfway point in the direction you want and we have our super duper candle above a breakout line above the 30 week moving average and no Ichimoku cloud, red cloud uh, above that resistance. It started, and you would have had to wait a few, one, two, three, about four months. So it didn't really pick off until then, and then off you go. Is there a start of a trend line? 
not really and that's where you'd be in the stock what could be happening here right now is there's maybe a continuation breakout that we could probably play and maybe this one is going to be the one to go okay set my alert at 20 uh, and then just set a invalidation of that proposal if we ever we have a close around the 17 yeah under 17 then we're out and if there's a breakout hopefully hopefully maybe the RS, the ADX goes down a little bit more and then after that uh, we have a breakout with a nice candle here with uh, twice the average volume for the previous four to five weeks and we have an RSI that starts that goes just a little bit down and then goes back up over the halfway point there you go I'd love to see that and that'd be a beautiful play for continuation play uh, stage two for FCX else well it's another game breakdown and can't play it until uh, you're below that cloud so maybe here I could have another alert for the uh, the downwards scenario right here I have the alert here so I could keep ranging but right now it seems to have started stage two following this breakout. Not super duper uh, follow through on it. And now it's just ranging and maybe a continuation breakout right there of off of mounts. Remember how they look back here? Do 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 do. Have this nice continuation break. Where am I? Like, like right here, price action starts going back towards the 30-week moving average and then a break, uh, breakout, breakdown, continuation, same thing here. Start at stage two, sideways move towards the 30-week moving average and let's see what happens for FCX, guys. So continuation two, breakout, possible. That's it. See ya. <laughs> Bye-bye.